Community 101 – Graphics Settings for Android In this short video we'll talk about graphics settings in Unity and how they affect the visual appearance of your game. Devices like the Shield Android TV are extremely powerful. We shouldn't need to use the default settings for Android, we can crank the settings up a bit. But just how powerful is Shield Android TV? Modern Android devices are honestly as powerful as PCs and consoles from just a few years ago. At GDC 2015 we showed Crisis 3, a performance intensive game developed by Crytek just a few years ago, running smoothly on Shield. We also showed the gorgeous rivalry demo from Epic Games. These should show you that it's possible to make awesome looking content for Android devices. Shield Android TV is powered by the Tegra X1 superchip. Its performance and features are slightly higher than previous generation consoles. For a start it has six times the memory. It's also running the Android operating system, which is superior to the operating systems found in previous generation consoles. If you look at this chart, you can see that the Shield equals or exceeds both of the previous generation consoles in most measurable metrics. Shield also supports OpenGL ES 3.1 Plus using the Android L Android extension pack. This gives us a variety of performance improvements over earlier versions of OpenGL. It enables multi-sample and stencil textures. There are improvements to the way the shading language works. And we have support for tessellation and geometry shaders as well as compute shaders. It also supports a new texture format which we'll talk about later in the presentation. When it comes to setting graphics quality in Unity we're going to look at four major areas. First we'll look at shaders, then we'll talk about texture compression, then screen resolution and anti-aliasing, and finally shadows. Shaders. Unity has a physically based shading model and materials look great straight out of the box. Unity has support for bump mapping with normal maps and specular mapping. So if you're porting content from another platform such as PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4, do not discard this information. You will be able to use it in your Unity game running on Android Shield. Texture compression. You really want to compress your textures. Um, it's going to save you memory at runtime. So it's going to save you video memory, it's going to save you system memory, it's also going to reduce load times, it's going to reduce the amount of time it takes for customers to download the game from the store, and you're going to get better performance, you're going to have better fill rate if you're using compressed textures. So there really isn't a reason not to choose the best possible format for compressed textures. The texture format we want to choose is the Adaptive Scalable Texture Compression Format, or ATSC, which is part of the OpenGL and DirectX 12 spec. Set the texture format within the build settings. Screen resolution and size. For a given resolution, pixel density decreases as screen size increases. This means that assets that look great on a tablet screen may not look as good on a large TV. Increasing the size of the render target to cope with this is prohibitively expensive. If we double the width of a render target, we're quadrupling the number of pixels we have to shade. The time honored solution is multi sample anti aliasing. Multiple samples are made at each pixel location to create the final fragment. The result is similar to rendering at a higher resolution but comes with much lower cost because it uses lower bandwidth. Shadows. Unity uses dynamic shadow maps. It supports cascaded maps which is important for outdoor scenes with directional lights. Shadow draw distance and the resulting draw in or pop of shadows is one of the most distracting features in Unity at lower quality settings. Increasing shadow draw distance comes with a performance cost but eliminates these artifacts. Now we've seen some of the issues. Let's see how to control quality through Unity's Quality Settings dialog. This provides presets at various quality levels for each target platform. You can see that Android is set to simple by default, but PC is set to fantastic. Let's compare the settings for these. With simple, which is the default for Android, you can see that anti-aliasing is disabled, there are only hard shadows, and the shadow draw distance is 20 meters, and also that cascades are disabled. With fantastic settings, anti-aliasing is enabled, hard and soft shadows are available, the shadow draw distance is set to a much more acceptable 150 meters, and there are four cascades available. Note also that you can choose the distance at which the cascades become active. Now we've looked at the quality settings, let's do some comparisons. Here we can see a highly magnified portion of a simple scene, and it's possible to see that the edges of the polygons look quite blocky. With multi-sample anti-aliasing turned on, you can see that we get a smoother result, which looks like the scene was rendered at a higher resolution. With shadows, it's possible to see that with a simple implementation, 
the shadow maps in the foreground are blocky and unacceptably aliased, and that the shadow draw distance does not go out very far into the distance. With high quality settings, the shadow draw distance goes out further, and the shadows look acceptable closer to the camera. Now let's look at some real-time examples. So in summary, modern Android devices like the Shield have similar features to a PC and come with great performance. Turn up the settings in Unity to get a better looking game. Obviously your mileage will vary depending on the needs of your game. If your game is geometrically complex you may have a different set of requirements. If you have expensive shaders that may affect performance. You may have a lot of draw calls. You'll have to find the balance that works best for your game. But that being said, you can get some great looking visuals out of Unity fairly easily just by choosing appropriate settings. Have fun making games and watch out for more videos in this series.